Hey guys, this is another video lesson by Wilson Harwood here. Uh, today I'm going to show you Franklin's Tower. From what you just saw there, slow it down a little bit in my rendition of Franklin's Tower. So we're starting out with our first finger on the 14th fret and third finger actually on the 16th fret to get a half step bend. Uh, instead of the full step bend, I think the half step sounds a little bit more like what Jerry's doing. So I'm just bending it up to the 17th fret as best as you can. And then I pull off with my middle finger and hammer on. And then third finger slide to the 12th fret or some rendition like that, a slide. And this is one of my favorite parts, just doing some arpeggios with my third finger a barred across the 14th fret on the D, G, and B string. So we're going to be doing straight down or down up down uh, ba, da, da. and then I use my third finger here across just the B and the G string on the 12th fret then kind of making an F shape right here with index finger and middle finger 10th fret and 11th fret and then coming to the third finger 11th fret first finger on the 9th fret doing some hammer on some pull offs pinky back to my ninth fret G string first finger. So let's try that again. Just So just to go over that last little section there that's really cool, we got the third finger bar, then third finger bar back, twelfth fret, index middle finger. And do it with me slowly from the beginning here. We just have favorite licks here. We're going to be doing a slide up the neck and then continuing down a pentatonic scale here. So slide from 9th to the 11th fret. So you're going to do... And that was basically the lick. Let me slow that down a little bit for you here. So we're going to do... We're holding that note from before where we went... And then we go, so it's a slide there from the 9th fret to the 11th fret, ninth fret to the 11th fret, sorry. So slide up, slide it back, try that again. Time to clean that up just a little bit. Then we go up here, and I did a little slide there, so slide into that note. Boom. Ninth fret to eleventh fret, index finger, and then index ring middle. And then this is the funky part that's kind of hard to hear. I'm not exactly sure what Jerry's doing there, but it sounds something like this. Kind of holds it a little bit of a, hits that note and then kind of holds and then does a little side half step. And so let's try that again. So it's like. Ooh, got caught on the spread there. That's the end of it. So after you do this little thing here, which is middle, third, third, slide, so that's going to be 10th fret, 11th fret, 11th fret, slide into the 12th fret, and then we're going to do middle on the 11th fret G string, and that's the end of the solo. Pretty awesome. Let's try the whole thing one more time here, slowly. So...
last slide. It's tricky. So good luck. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a comment or something like that. You can check me out at wilsonharwood.com, and if you're interested in lessons, shoot me an email there.